This video is going to help you get started with My Math Lab. The very first thing you need to do is go into Angel and click into your math class, and then click the Lessons tab at the top of the page, and then click into Course Content. Hopefully you've already read all the Read Me First documents. And at the top will be a course code and will be a hyperlink. Now your course code will be different than this one. Um, this is an older one, so make sure you write down the one that you need and then click into the My Math Lab. The course code can also be found in your syllabus. When you get to this point, you need to register. So even if you've used My Math Lab in the past, don't sign in. You want to click in and register this course, no matter if it's your first time using My Math Lab or, if you, or you've used it in other courses. So click Student. And then in a minute, it's going to ask us for a course ID. There we go. You enter in the course ID for your course, whatever that may be. And here is if you have created an account before, if you've used My Math Lab in the past, then you can use your username and password. And if you don't remember those, you can um, go into it with this link right here or if you've never used my math lab or if you've used my IT lab which I know is used in some computer courses you might already have a Pearson account as well and you can still use that same account um, but we need to create our course so if you've never used a Pearson account before you need to create one if you have used Pearson either my math lab or my IT lab then go ahead and sign in and obviously I have an account so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in Once you sign in or once you create your account, if you're creating an account, it's going to ask you for you know your name and it's going to ask you what you want for your username and password and you get all that set up. Then you get to this screen here that says register. At this point, if you've already purchased your code from the bookstore, then you can click access code and it will ask for that code and you just enter it in here and click finish. If you don't have that code and you want to purchase it, you can do so right here online for $85.80. And you can click on that, again enter your course ID, um, well this is asking for the instructor, that's me. But um, you can click on that and purchase your code. If you do not have your access code and you do not want to purchase one right now, but you do want to get started working on your assignments in my math lab, you can get temporary access without payment for 17 days. So that, that 17 days is critical because once your 17 days is up, it will lock you out of my math lab until you have a code that you can enter and then get access to the class again. So are you sure you want temporary access to, and it's listing the name of the course, I entered in a pre-algebra course code. Um, if, I, if I do need temporary access, I would click yes. I don't because I have access. So I'm going to say no thanks, but once you click yes, then it's going to take you directly into My Math Lab and you're ready to get started. Once you get started into My Math Lab, it takes you to a screen and on the left hand side it's going to have all of your courses that um, you are working on. So if you are in a computer class and you're using My IT Lab, you might see that listed here. Most of you will probably just see one class listed. However, I'm teaching many classes so I've got several listed. So I'm just going to click into this first class and then I'm going to show you some of the information and how this works. On the home screen, you're going to see this announcement that's just a reminder to log into Angel every week. Um, but then you've got these tabs down the side. Um, announcements, really, I mean this is the only announcement you're going to see is the one that's looking that you're looking at right now. When you want to work on your homework, you just click into your homework and you'll notice everything it, that is a blue hyperlink is an assignment and then you can click into that individual assignment whichever one you want to work on you don't have to do the problems in order you can pick any question to work on and then once you're inside of your assignment you have all of these circles at the top that's all the different problems so in this particular assignment there happens to be 15 problems um, you see a couple different palettes on the sides here. The one on the left is called the tools palette so if you ever need to enter in a fraction you just use that fraction tool. Now I obviously got this problem wrong 
and I have three times to get this problem correct. So remember that less than corresponds. So I can go in here and I can delete that. And then I can type in 31 less than. Now I don't have my signs over there. I can click more and I can get my signs. Um, but there's my less than. And then D. So let's see if we get it right this time. Oh, sorry, nope. And it gives you these little hints. Remember that less than corresponds to subtraction. Okay, so it doesn't want my less than symbol. It wants me to say 31 less than D. So is that 31 minus D or D minus 31? Well, let's type in 31 minus D and see what we get. Oh, sorry, so there's my three times. It gave me the correct answer. I should have put D minus 31. Um, and I can click done, but then, and notice I get a red X. Well, I can go back in and click similar exercise, get a similar problem. I now know what I need to do. Check my answer, good job, and now my red X is replaced with a green check mark. So you can rework the problems that way. If you get stuck over here to the right, there's a help me solve this, and I know you can't see the whole tab, uh, but you will once you get into yours. View an, an, view an example. If you click on that, it gives you an example and walks you through how to do a problem. The help me solve this, it's going to help you solve this exact problem, but you won't get credit for it. At the end, you'll have to do another similar exercise. So you can work with that a little bit if you like. Some questions, not all, have videos along with them. There's animations. This textbook will take you to the um, ebook. And then ask my instructor if you've tried everything, if you've viewed an example, if you've watched the videos on Angel and you've seen my uh, online lectures and you're just like, I still don't get this, you can click that and type in your message here to me. I don't understand this problem or I get stuck at this point. Um, and then, then this will send me a link to this problem. That way you don't have to try to communicate this to me through an email. If you use this button, it will automatically send me an email and I can click directly into the problem and respond to you. So that's a little bit about the homework. Homework is automatically saved, um, so don't worry about accidentally losing anything. If I click into homework again, what I recommend that you do every time you click in here is click the show all. That's going to pull up all of your assignments, your homework, your quizzes, your exams, everything. So that way you can see everything that you need to work on and you can see the due date when it's due. Okay, a little bit more. Let's see here, gradebook. Once you start finishing assignments, and right now I've only attempted one assignment, I can go in and I can review that assignment. Now right, right now I'm still able to work on it, but if this were a test, I could not work on it. But I could definitely go in and I could look at things and see what problem I had and see what my answer was and if I got it right or wrong. So the gradebook um, is a good tool if you want to go back and review your work. But remember the official gradebook is in Angel. So this will just give you kind of an itemized list of your assignments and your score that you got on each individual one. The ebook. You can click into table of contents. You have um, applications, author notes to students, the preface. Really, I mean, in chapter one, if you want to click into chapter one, it breaks it down by lesson. You can click into any of these, and it's going to pull up the ebook. And this looks just like the actual textbook. The only difference between the ebook and the textbook is the ebook e has added features. Like right here, you can view this example, but then you've got a you try it. And if you click on that, then it's going to pull up a problem that looks very similar to something in one of your assignments, and you can try them. So that's an added bonus to the ebook that obviously a regular textbook can't offer you. Um, communication, there's no need to ever use that. Um, you can communicate via a uh, Angel or Ask the Instructor option. Um, but those are just some of the things that you can do inside my math lab. So if you have any questions about it and how to use it or if you're struggling, please email me or call me and I can walk you through it. Um, but that's all you need to know about registering for my math lab. Good luck this semester.